Hello everyone, and welcome to the Spelunky Daily Challenge. My name is Alex. When I'm not working on my PhD in Biomedical Sciences, I'm thinking and writing about video games. I've got a blog, theimpactfactor.blogspot.com, where each week I post a new article, review, and other c content about video games. Each Friday I sit down with my co-host Charles Fliss to do a podcast about video games. We give our perspectives on the week's biggest news, the games we've been playing, and some great editorial pieces from the web. You can find that on our, on our SoundCloud, uh, soundcloud.com slash the impact factor, or here on this YouTube account that you're seeing it. Either way, that's enough for introductions. Let's try to get into this. Spelunky is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, I've sunk more than my fair share of hours into it. Um, and just everything about it speaks to me. I love the roguelike, procedurally generated levels. Uh, there's a real fine challenge to the game where each decision you make is carefully measured because any wrong move and you can die. Um, the daily challenge is this cool thing where uh, players from around the world get the same randomly generated seed to play uh, to play each day. And the score you get in that level, kind of, you can post that on daily leaderboards. So, as a point of disclosure, it's been quite a while since I've played Splunky uh, in earnest. Back when I was really deep into Splunky, I'd play every day, and I could get to Hell, which is this last level of, uh, of a Splunky run, pretty regularly. But now I'm pretty rusty, so <laughs> I'm going to do my best for you guys to get as far as possible. But this is a work in progress, definitely. I need to get my skills back up. So one of the tenets of Spelunky, of playing Spelunky, is the ABCs. So this is easy to remember, that's always be carrying. So there's objects around that you can pick up, and this is good for triggering traps uh, and killing enemies. Just like this arrow trap you guys saw here. Here in these brown little crates are items, so I'm going to collect some of those. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys want me to explain more about Spelunky, or the people who are watching this. Know a little bit, so I don't have to go over the basics. <clears throat> but the point of each level is to kind of make it from the top of the level and get to the bottom while not dying. Um, the game is divided into four main sections. The caves, the jungle, the ice caverns, and uh, the temple. And so right now I'm in the caves, which is the first four levels. And each of those that I just described have four levels you need to get to uh, reach the end. And along the way, what you can see that I'm doing for the daily challenge are collecting these gems and little bits of gold which will raise my score, which you can see kind of right next, we're kind of in the top right of my heads-up display that I've got going right now. And that's important for these daily challenges because in the end you want to have the highest score uh, possible. I've made it into the top 10 on the, the later boards before, but <laughs> no promises uh, for this run. So right now the seed's looking actually pretty good. There haven't really been too many enemies or any uh, cheap trap setups or anything like that. I'm going to end it probably with about, you know, 13,000 gold, which is great, because not much you can buy is uh, much more than that. I mean, the jetpack is 20,000. So here's a frustrating thing. I can't really make this jump, but I really want to get the damsel, because if you save the damsel and you bring them to the end door, um, you get extra point of health. So it looks like I can't just make this jump. Hmm. It's going to cost me two resources to get to him. I have to use both a rope and a bomb. But since I got both of those in this level, I think it's going to be worth it. The extra health is just so important. Got some health, and I got the damsel. And the damsel is great because you can use them as a weapon, too. You can throw them at enemies, <laughs> and the damsel won't take damage. So, alright, this looks like everything I can get without expending more resources, uh, like my ropes or bombs, which are super valuable later on. So let's end the first level. Alright. So, <laughs> I don't ever have to do this, but I like triggering these traps, because sometimes when you go around to exploring, it's pretty easy to trigger a trap that you thought you might have already triggered. Ah, so here we see this special treasure chest. You can't open that unless you get the key. And this is a pretty important step that we need to get through on our way to hell. So just gotta make sure I don't miss out on this key anywhere. So for now, I'm gonna carry around the treasure chest with me, which can conveniently be used as a weapon as well. Oh, this area looks like it might have a key in it. So if you hold that, ah, there's a key. So if you hold down on the D-pad, you can move the camera, um, 
which is helpful to kind of like look around and see what you're missing. So one thing I'm going to do now is look down to make sure I can actually get into this area where the key is without having to blow up some bombs. Eh, it looks, looks to be good. Here again, I'm going to just use a rope to get to the, the damsel, which in my case I've randomized it between the guy, the girl, and the dog. There's a sloth that shows up, but I forget exactly how to, to do that. Cool. Hit the da. Trigger that trap. <laughs> Again, those those arrow traps do two uh, two points of damage to you, and the damage you see in the top left of the heads-up display is uh, the hearts, and so I have five. So that would put me down to three, and I'm not not really looking forward to taking damage. If you can get through the caves without taking damage, you're in pretty decent shape. Though best case scenario, I, I rub the black market and uh, while health's important, it's not that important. Because <laughs> you'll find stuff in the game that can kill you uh, pretty much instantly. So this pots can contain nothing, gold, or enemies. So it's always good to like whip those pots or throw something at it just to make sure. <laughs> you don't pick it up and throw it and then an enemy pops out and deals damage to you. Everything here is about weighing risks and making sure you carefully approach every situation. Here, I'm gonna trigger these two traps, just because, ugh, man. Just because apparently, because I felt like taking damage. That's rough, that's all right. There's only one point. I've gotten a damsel on the first two levels, so. I'm doing pretty well for myself. Ooh, so here, we got a bunch of bombs. Bombs are really good, so I think I'm gonna buy the bomb box. Uh, I'm gonna save a little bit of money. I would normally buy the paste. It's an incredible item. It, it uh, coats your bombs in a sticky substance. You can throw it against walls and have it hit. But the spider here, which is kind of menacingly hanging, is a great source for paste. Oh gosh. If you can get the bomb to stick. Oh man. That is rough. So now the spider's gonna drop. Let's see if I can kill him. It's a pain. This is a little bit. Ugh. All right, there we go. <laughs> I'd waste a lot of bombs, so it's probably good I bought that bomb bag. But. It's going to be worth it in the long run. Pace is so useful. Fall, da, da, da. So crates are almost always worth one of a resource. This is uh, the decision I kind of make for myself. If I can get... Oh man, the cape is a great item to get. If I can get a crate without uh, with using maybe one bomb or one rope, I'll always get it. Mm-hmm. Gotta keep the eye on the time, because uh, once you've been in a certain level for two and a half minutes, this ghost will come, which is an unkillable entity. Uh, that you just basically have to avoid <laughs> until you get to the final level. People use it for score runs, because if the ghost goes over a certain gem, uh, if it goes over any gem, it'll transform it into a diamond, which is worth a lot of money and a lot of points. But I don't... This isn't going to be a ghosting run. I just, <laughs> Ideally, I just get far this time. That's my goal. Get far. I did a practice run or two before doing the stream and uh, didn't do so great, so <laughs> let's do better than my tra practice runs. Mm -hmm. Make sure to grab some. I like grabbing the rock though, because it can stick around, so you can use it to throw and kill enemies and not worry about it going away. I'm gonna again. Whenever I can, I like to trigger these traps, just so I don't forget that they're there. So for this level, because the shrine is so generous here, I'm just going to sacrifice the damsel. So the first time you sacrifice the damsel, you get an item uh, and a certain number of points towards this Kali here, this whatever, 
goddess, I guess. Um, and once you rack up enough for those, you get a special item called the Kapala, which lets you collect the blood drops from fallen enemies to restore your health. See those little red drops? Those are blood. So ideally, best case scenario, I can find another damsel that's easily sacrificable in a different level. Though you can get points by sacrificing the dead bodies of uh, certain enemies, like any kind of humanoid enemy. So it could be temple guards or uh, those little cavemen or these boomerang wielding guys. All right, 40,000, that's not bad. Oh man, though. The item I got is climbing gloves, which back when I played seriously, kind of was a pretty debated item. It's really helpful because now you can climb up solid walls without uh, using ropes, but oftentimes it'll make, it automatically makes you stick onto a surface, which can get you in a lot of trouble. Uh, like... I want to buy some more bombs. I just like having as many bombs as possible. Alright. Damsel's here. That's good. So right now I need to be on the lookout for the black market. It's hidden in, uh, in one of the first couple levels of the jungle. I think levels one, two, or three. Oh, and I hear it pinging. So that's good. I think I see it up there. Alright. Super secret hidden technique. <laughs> you can glide onto spikes. It's uh, some advanced strats here from the impact back there. Cool, so you saw the pinging. Field the entrance of the black market. Alright, this is going okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Hmm. Do I want to get greedy and try and get the damsel? I think the answer to that question is yes. I think I'm going to get double greedy and try and get this crate too. Got plenty of time. Mm hmm. So normally the entrance is at the bottom of the map, but the black market is one of these special entrances that are hidden. Uh, that's kind of in the middle of the map. Oh, that was good. Hmm. There we go. So I do a, te a technique there to get a bigger blast radius out of my bomb. If you drop a bomb, pick it up, and then put it back down, for whatever reason, the bomb radius is larger. Uh, like three blocks instead of two. Normally it'll just blow two blocks up in whatever direction uh, that's close to the bomb, but that way you do three. So hey, means I have to use less bombs. And I like saving them because... Oh gosh, that was kind of wasteful. That's all right, there's plenty of bombs here, so. What I'm doing here is, you'll see, I'm blowing up platforms. So that, when I rob the plant, the black market, two shopkeepers can't get me. All right, so it'll fall down. So the other cop, other shopkeeper hasn't run by yet, so it makes me really nervous. Oh man, oh, <laughs> that was really risky. Oh man, luck was on my side this time. This tiki being here is nice too. Because it means that no shopkeeper is going to come through. Oh, stuck. But now that... <laughs> a hole got blown in here. Oh, double stick. Yes! Alright, things are going pretty well. So the item I want to collect here is the Ankh. That lets you... Let's you respawn from death once. One time. Uh, which is great for any kind of daily run. Uh, I want that bomb box. I let them fall to there. To the pit. Just gonna lay into lay into this area. Make sure if the shopkeeper's still there, he's dead. All right, he's he's dead. He's dead. 
Oh, all the shopkeepers have died. The <laughs> music changed. That's great. Oh, well, that's why. There's a spike pit here. I want to collect their gold. Hey, right. that was a very <laughs> successful robbing of the black market. All right, ooh, another altar. Maybe I could get a Kapala. If only I could be so lucky. Well, at the very least, I'm gonna sacrifice this guy. Get myself one step closer, at least. Oh man, this is a very generous seed. Uh, Damn, start here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That guy, those uh, chomp plants are pretty scary. If they touch you for whatever reason, you die. Kabbalah obtained. Yeah, let's not. Let's not. Let's not die a stupid death. All right, let's just, let's just uh, let's make it an earned death at least. So I'm waiting here because I don't want this. Oh man. That's all right. There's not really much there. All right, I've got a ton of bombs, so I'm gonna try and drop a bomb onto the shopkeeper. Oh, and that did not work. And oh man. All right, no hell today. I pressed the wrong button and I fell to my death. But the aunt let me uh, respond. So now it's gonna be all about maximizing my score. So you need to die on the, with the Ankh on a very specific level uh, on the next area, which is the Ice Caves. Makes me nervous to hear this shock your music still, though. I don't really know where he is. Alright, he just died, so... Oh, well... <laughs> I did say it was rusty. No hell today, but let's try and maximize my score. I've got nearly 100,000, so that's pretty good. Not many people play on the PS4 these days anyway, so there's a good chance I'll get within the top 100 if I, if I can make it to the, the end of the kind of normal progression. I want those gems. Destroying the tiki head is always nice too. And the seed looks really good though. There's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff here, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's some really high scores. There's lots of bombs. Just whip this pug. Get some blood from him. All right, cool. I'm up to five health. Ideally, I can rescue him. And there's where there's where climbing gloves are really annoying. I wanted to just kind of fall directly onto the guy. Oh, cool! The other shopkeeper is already dead, so that's good news. So let's go rescue uh, the damsel to get those hit points. I would rob that little uh, vault since shopkeeper's mad anyway, but oh man, I got a lot of bombs. I'm not afraid to waste a couple. Mm -hmm. Shopkeepers do drop a decent amount of uh, money, so I'm gonna click that. And move on. Right, at least we made it to the ice caves, folks. It's not so bad. 
The run's not dead completely. I beat Olmec. Hmm. I got a compass too, which is really nice in the ice caves, because sometimes you can fall to your death while you're looking for the exit. Alright, we got the pug here. Oh man. This is a little scary. So I'm gonna try again to drop bombs on Shotkeeper's head. Let's see if you can watch it happen. All right. We got him. We got him, folks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, cool. Those guys drop a fair amount of money. At least one of these, uh, whatever, sapphires. So that's not too bad. They sometimes drop spring shoes too, I think. Or no, no, they drop ice ray guns. Whatever. Let's see if we can rescue the damsel. I don't think so, though. Without using a rope. Oh, no. We got it. We're good. We're good at this game. Damsel in hand, let's get some health. Or if I drop him, if he's gonna walk in. That's a little too risky. <laughs> I don't want him to walk into the abyss below the ice caves. Alright. The real question now is now that I know that I can't get to hell in the city of gold, do I try to rob the alien mothership? Uh, but I think the answer to that question is going to be no. <laughs> ah, so risky to go on that mothership. The cor yeah, it appears on the last level of the ice caves, I think, at 3-4. But not today, not today. It'd be nice in my inaugural episode here of doing Splunky Daily Challenges if I can actually, you know, beat Olmec. <laughs> oh god, now that I've said that though, you know I'm jinxed. Does it work if I try to unjinx myself and say that uh, I never thought I'd get this far? You know, pressures of the stream and everything? <laughs> Let's just say that, yeah. I'm unjinxed now. Oh gosh. Ugh. Took some damage there, but I've been stocking up with the Kapala, so. We're good. With the Kapala, it's nice so you can whip the damsel uh, to get like two. Uh, things of blood out of it because he has three health and you can still rescue him for full point of health. So it's pretty nice Ugh, man. There's a lot of shopkeepers down here. Even more bombs, man That would have been nice for hell Ah oh, man All right, I've angered them. I think they're both dead. And the damsel died somehow? I don't know how that happened. What? <laughs> I hit him twice. Did something fall on him? Gosh dang it. Uh... All right, let's explore a little bit. I got a half a minute to look around before the ghost shows up. Oh, nice. Kill these guys for some money. I really don't want to be too risky here, because if you get turned into ice, you uh, kind of fall to your death. <laughs> You'll I'd fall and die. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh. Alright, halfway through the ice caves. Haven't been any uh, terrible level designs here either. Oh man. 
so many yetis. Let's see if I can sacrifice more bodies. So after you get the Kapala, it takes a lot more points to get to the next stage. Uh, but if you get to it, I think you get a bonus of five, five hearts or something. Five hit points. Maybe it's even ten. I don't know. No, ten seems high. It's been a while since I played, folks. Mm hmm. And here is where I would have needed to die. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. My lightning reflexes there. Jeez, that was close. I want to anger the shopkeeper though. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, maybe I'll get to. Maybe I'll get to Olmec simply based on being lucky as heck this run. Jeez, man. I probably should have died there. But I didn't. And so I'm just gonna say that I'm good at this game still. Man, Splunky's so great just because every single thing you do, it's. <laughs> You could die if you mess up, and so you really have this great sense of tension the entire time you're playing. Like, you, I need to be perfect. And a lot of it is learning what the game has to offer, too, you know? The first time you go around, you don't know, like, these yetis that I just keep stomping on. You can't whip them like you can whip normal enemies. <laughs> and they'll uh, just kind of absorb it, and then walk right up to you, and then throw you. And you're stunned, and can easily fall all the way to your death. But when you put a lot of hours in, like I have, you learn what everything does. Oh man, ugh. Nice. Alright, this vault I can definitely rob. Famous last words, right? <laughs> Alright, damsel is secured. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a bunch of bombs on this guy's head. All right, that went pretty smoothly. That blows up too. I want to get those extra gems. I mean, I was in a good position there to wait until the ghost came and ghost those and turn them all into diamonds, which have been a huge score bonus. But I don't know. I'm just not feeling the ghost this run, guys. Sorry. Maybe next time. Maybe once I get to hell. <laughs> the next run after that, I'll ghost. Uh, so I've got a lot of ropes. I'm gonna try and collect this idol. It's a good infusion of money. Uh... Get out of my way. Sweet. Oh man, not a big fan of this lava, right? This started level. Ugh. I got like 200,000 bombs though, so I think I'll be good just to blow it up. Some people like to collect a lot of money here in the temple. I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> so much here can kill you that I usually just try and get to the bottom <laughs> as fast as possible. I'll do some collecting though. Why not? For you, the audience. So again, if you guys want to hear me uh, talk more about games and maybe a little bit more uh, <laughs> informed manner, please check out the podcast I do with my uh, co-host Charles Fliss where we talk the games. That's every Friday. And we've been pretty good about putting up each new episode here on uh, on this YouTube account each Saturday. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, so those mind blasts are one hit kill. <laughs> and I unfortunately uh, got myself killed on them, I think, last daily run. So I'm just not going to play around with that.
Oh man. Sweet. Drop so many rubies. I don't think he drops any money by being defeated, just his little staff. And since, for those of you who might be just tuning in, I didn't get, <laughs> I didn't get the head jet which you from the ice temple, so I won't be, I won't be going to hell today. Oh, that's probably stupid. Just trying to get rid of this lava though. I don't mind dodging the lava itself, but there are those lava men that come out of it, which are just a pain to deal with. Ow. The door is right there taunting me. If only you had gone through and not messed up. Uh. Alright. Drop the bomb on that guy's head. Again, I've I wouldn't normally be wasting bombs like this, but I'm only a couple levels away from the final stage in uh, in a run, so I'm sitting at 27. I'm pretty comfortable with 27. And my 10 health here does does me dilly squat if I get crushed and instantly killed. Alright, just want to make sure that trap was triggered. You really never know with these things. Oh gosh. That's mean. Uh oh. Ooh. Alright, dodge a spitting cobra. Pump him full a little bit of lead. Let's see if I can drop a bomb on the shopkeeper again. Ah! <laughs> so close. Got him. Yeah, I'm pretty good at, uh... Once I'm not worried about hell, I can get these shopkeepers down pretty easily. Uh, That's the last stage before the final stage, oh man. Let's try to collect as much money as possible. Because it's pretty much going to be my final score. Eh, 250 is not bad. See, I didn't lie to you guys. I'm pretty good at this game. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's let's head to Olmec. And again, because I have like a billion bombs, I'm not going to do any normal strategy. So normally there's like a lot of ways we can run under him to have him smash the tiles below you, get him out. I'm not going to mess around with any of that. I'm just going to climb up to the roof, collect the extra items here, on his head. Yeah, let's just get him in this corner. And I'm going to clear a path for him to fall to his death. That's after I collect all these delicious items. <laughs> nice. And I think when you beat the game... Uh, just the standard way, I guess the way that, you know, you would beat it first before knowing about this whole secret route to hell, you get, I think, an extra 50,000 for beating it. So I should end up about, at about 350,000, which is pretty good. Alright. Let's just bomb a hole. Put in the wrong place. There's door to hell. But again, my sloppy play is rewarded because I have almost an uncountably large amount of bombs. All right, so gosh, I think this is wide enough for him to fit down. 
but I want to get this gems here. All right. And the ghost doesn't show up on whole max level, so that's always nice. All right. Let's end this up. I've, <laughs> I've been been streaming this for half an hour now. Too narrow? Oh gosh, oh gosh. It's not good. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, well not bad. I messed up. My gap wasn't big enough. And then I just I just figured it's better to end it there. But that's the final stage. Let's see. Three hundred thousand. Rexcued seven damsels, about half an hour. Where do I fall on the leaderboard for now? Rank thirty. I'll take it. It would have been nice to get the final 50,000. Let's see, uh, overall highest. Yeah, the seed was pretty good, so I figured people would do pretty well. Yeah, look at this. Number one, sitting at close to a million. Alright, cool. So that's it for the first of my, hopefully, several daily challenge runs. Uh, I did pretty well. Got to the final stage. Lost to Olmec, but hey, maybe next time I'll get to hell. So until next time, guys.